What's up guys, Brunsnick's back, and this is the top 10 bowling balls from the Brands of Brunswick in the year 2023. What was your favorite ball of 2023? Do you think it makes my top 10 list? Stay tuned and stick around. But before we get into all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, let's start with number 10 ball of 2023 from the Brunswick Brands. Number 10, Ebonite GB4 Hybrid. This ball was a workhorse on the PBA and PWBA tours. The versatility of this ball is what made it crack the top 10 for the year. That versatile hybrid symmetrical ball in your bag that'll get you through the bulk of a tournament. Once the lanes start to break down, the GB4 Hybrid was the ball you saw come out. It responded well to surface changes, could use it shiny, could use it dull. And also because of that enhanced V2 core, Versatility with drilling options was unmatched. Number nine, Hammer Envy Tour. Now the Envy Tour came out in the beginning of the year, launched with another ball that's on this list. It kind of got overshadowed, but the utility of this ball is what makes it crack the top 10, coming in at the number nine spot. It uses the same core as the Obsession Tour, but updated with the Envy Solid cover stock. A little bit stronger cover stock to match with that lower differential asymmetric core. The Envy Tour not only controlled patterns, but gave players an option above urethane when they needed to control oily lanes. Not only was this ball versatile on the lanes, but it was also versatile with the drilling options being asymmetric. Having a lower differential asymmetric solid in your bag meant you could play straighter angles when the lanes got tough. Number eight, Track Archetype. I raved about this ball all year, and when I got a lot of comments about what ball they should bring the Nationals, what ball should I use for heavy oil, I almost always recommended the Track Archetype. The main reason for that was the core in this ball, the iCore 3.0 Slim. It's a medium RG core with a high differential and high intermediate. Normally on high performance asymmetric solids, you see these balls kind of bog down and roll forward on most patterns. That wasn't the case with the Archetype. Because of its design, it actually gave you a little bit more length and continuation on the back, not usually seen from a high performance ball like this. When you encountered heavy oil and you needed something to dig in but not burn up, the Track Archetype is the pick and that's why it comes in at number eight. Number seven, Columbia 300 High Speed. This ball performed flawlessly in my review, so much so that I compared to it to another legend and another brand, an iconic ball, and it held its own. With the shifter asymmetrical core and Formula One hybrid cover, the high speed gave me a skid flip ball motion that I thought was one of the best of the year. This ball certainly flew under the radar during its release, but for those who have thrown this ball, they'll attest to its performance. This ball is versatile from multiple angles, playing straight and especially from moving in and hooking it. And that's why it makes a top 10 list coming at number seven. Number six, Radical Outer Limits. The Outer Limits was the first to use a computer generated motion core design program, a proprietary program that helps dial in ball motion before we even make a bowling ball. This technology has been used a few times since but since it's the original design, it makes the top 10 of the year. Groundbreaking technology is what Radical is all about, with the focus on after drilling numbers and cover stock technology. The Outer Limits was a versatile piece, not super skid flippy, not super rolly, but right in the middle, so it made it very usable for a variety of players. Not only did this ball look good, but it also rolled good from multiple angles on the lane. With its HK22 hybrid cover stock, the utility of this ball is what gives it a top 10 spot in 2023. Number five, Brunswick Teal Rhino Pro Vintage. Now who doesn't love a good throwback? This is one of those balls that strikes a nerve with everybody who had it. This ball originally came out in 1993. So this was the 30 year anniversary of the Teal Rhino Pro. We brought it back with thick shell technology which gives it a higher RG, lower differential, much like you would see from the original. Of course, we updated it with newer cover stock technology in the Activator 3.0 solid, giving it plenty of traction and can handle a wide variety of lane conditions. 
Because of its design, this ball is better playing straighter angles for most players. However, with players that have slower ball speed or players that are rev dominant, they were able to play further in with this ball and not let it burn up. This ball was so well received that it's actually one of the most selling vintage balls in Brunswick's history. And that's why it comes in at number five in 2023. Number four, Purple Hammer Urethane Purple Pin Edition. Now this isn't exactly a new release for 2023, but it was an updated version to conform to the PBA 73 hardness rule. Nevertheless, this ball was probably the most talked about and the most used ball on tour. Never has there been such a ball to create such controversy and spark multiple rule changes in a professional organization. And the best part about the Purple Hammer is it's still legal. USBC competition, all your leagues, local association tournaments, state tournament, USBC open championship, 100% legal. You can use green pin, purple pin, whichever you like. The only balls that do not conform to USBC standard are the original purple hammers with the serial number starting in the number six or seven. Those are the 2016, 2017 editions. Doesn't matter if it's purple pin or green pin, this ball rolls fantastic for everybody who tends to throw it. It is arguably the best urethane ball that has ever been made in the history of bowling, and that's why it comes in at number four for the top 10 bowling balls released in 2023. Number three, Deviate Troublemaker. Now the Troublemaker is a symmetrical core ball that was designed exclusively for two-handers and no-thumb bowlers. This core technology came with drilling instructions that would allow you to increase the differential substantially as well as the intermediate differential after drilling depending on where you drilled it. The versatility that the Troublemaker gives, two-handers especially, is what places this ball in the top 10 of the 2023 balls. Now, why is this ball rated so high if it's so good for only two-handers? Well, it's not only just good for two-handers. As a traditional bowler using traditional layouts, the Troublemaker is still a strong benchmark type symmetrical ball that is very versatile for many players. Using standard drilling options, you can get a whole lot of versatility out of the Troublemaker. It responds well to surface changes. You can use it shiny, you can use it dull. This is one of those bowling balls that if you match up to a pattern on any given day, it's going to take a lot for you to get out of this ball and transition into something else. The versatility of playing multiple angles and chasing your shot in is what makes the Troublemaker top three of 2023. Number two, new blue hammer. In all my years of Brunswick, I have never seen a ball more well received and more anticipated than the new blue hammer. This ball was designed to give a urethane purple hammer type motion, but still being not urethane. So this ball does not have to be 78 hardness to conform to PBA rules starting in 2024. What makes the new blue hammer so special is that the cover stock is a lot more tunable, making it usable for players that maybe did not like urethane ball motion. You can shine this ball up, it works. You can dull this ball down, it works. You can use this on short patterns, it works. This ball is very versatile, and the utility of this ball, along with the initial hype of this ball, is what lands it at number two in 2023. And the number one ball of 2023, you may have guessed it, Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid, the GOAT. This ball was so well received, it looked like the original Black Widow Pearl from 2006. With all the performance with Hyperkinetic 22 technology, the original gas mask core, you really couldn't go wrong. The amount of honor scores and success that this ball has given bowlers all throughout the year has been outstanding. When honor scores get submitted through our social media pages, it is almost a certainty that the ball that they're using is a Black Widow 2.0 hybrid. This ball was good not only just on the PBA and PWBA tours, but in local leagues, tournaments, you name it, this ball was in a lot of people's bags. This is one of the hottest balls of the year. This ball came out in February and is still selling like crazy to this day. And that's why the number one spot of 2023 goes to the Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid. 
If you have a ball that you thought was in the top 10 but didn't make my list, please drop a comment below and let me know why you think it belongs there. If you have any questions, comments, or anything about the top 10 that I've posted or any ball in the Brunswick plan, please put them in the comments. I'll be glad to help you. Until then, please subscribe, and I'll see you again in another video.